Okay, welcome back. Example problem number three, rectilinear motion, but this time our straight line is that way. It's straight up positive Y. We've got this fantastic balloon with the world's biggest Tootsie Roll. No, it's a sandbag uh, attached to it. And we're gonna release that sandbag. We're gonna drop it, okay? So sandbag's gonna release at time zero and then uh, it hits the ground eight seconds later. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So it asks us to find the, the speed of the bag at impact. All right, so you know what? When we release the bag, it's gonna continue to go upwards, isn't it? For just a little bit, because it was going six meters per second upwards. And then it's gonna start falling because gravity sucks, right? So initially it has six meters per second that way. And then down here, let's, we'll call that, um, Initial velocity, we'll call this V final. It equals sum. I expect we should get a negative amount, right? So the velocity is gonna be going downwards when it hits the ground. It wants us to find out how fast that is. And then what is the altitude of the balloon at this instant? Let's find it at both. Let's find it at when it was released and we'll find it when uh, at eight seconds later. Like what was the altitude of the balloon when the bag hit the ground? We'll find both those things. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward, and we can use our constant acceleration equations over here, okay? So let's look at this guy right here, okay? So position final is equal to initial position um, plus velocity times t plus one-half um, a c t squared. Okay, here we go. So first thing off, let's find out, uh, let's find out our, look at our sandbag. When was this thing, uh, what is it gonna be? Now, I don't know where it was initially dropped, right? I know what the uh, final position is, it's zero, isn't it? Okay. Um, so here is S naught, and then plus, what was the initial velocity for the sandbag? It was six meters per second upwards times T, it fell for eight seconds, didn't it? Plus one half, what's the acceleration? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that up is positive and down is negative, that just works for me. You can assume down is positive if you want, uh, and then your gravity acceleration would be positive, but I like it to be negative, okay? That just makes sense in my brain. Whoop, times T squared, which is eight squared. Okay, here we go. So S naught is equal to, let's see if we can do this, on 48, right, minus 9.81 times 64 times 0.5 is 265.92 negative, but when I move it to the other side, it becomes positive. So 2... 65.92, and that's meters, okay? So that was the original height of the balloon. That is how far that that bag traveled, right, um, before it reached the ground. For eight seconds it traveled, okay? So in order to do that, it had to travel 265.92 meters, okay? So that kind of answers one of the questions. That's like, where was the balloon at T0? That tells the altitude. Let's see, you know what, in eight seconds, if the thing after the, after the sandbag was dropped, if it continued to go up for another eight seconds, how far would it have gone? Well, it would have gone another, what, six meters per second times eight seconds equals 48 more meters, right? So the total, where was the, the balloon right here when the bag hit the ground, where was the height of the balloon? Well, I think it's just that plus that, right? That's when it was dropped, and that's how much more it went up. So, um, 265.92 times plus 48 more is 313.92, or let's just call it 314 meters is like S final, right? Uh, when, when the time is eight seconds, there you go.
What about the other thing? What about the velocity or the speed of the bag at impact? Is that hard to find? I don't know. You know what? I think that that ought to do it right there, right? V equals V naught plus A C T, right? And then the little A and the little C means constant acceleration, okay? So here we go. What was the, we're looking for velocity final. What was the initial velocity? Let's call it six meters per second. And again, I'm gonna call upwards positive. So I'm gonna leave that as a positive. And then I'm gonna put a minus here because my acceleration due to gravity is negative. 9.81 meters per second squared times T. How long did it fall for? Eight seconds. And so here we go. 9.81 times eight equals and then minus six off of that. It would be moving at the velocity final, and of course I'm gonna get a negative answer because I chose up as positive, at negative 72.48 meters per second, just meters per second, right? That's a second over there. That's gonna cancel one of my seconds out, so I have meters per second minus meters per second. And there you go, there is the speed or you could call it 72.48 meters per second downwards. How's that? Is that better? Either one. So that's pretty easy stuff. That's a pretty common little problem. You might see that on a little quiz or something. So there you go. That's how we use it. Now we're going to move on to some harder topics.